This forest is dry during the dry season and we're about to drive a boat. Who knows how far back into it. We're not going to a national park with like hiking trails. We're like going into the middle of the Amazon. That tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> These people are just like living normal life and we're here getting to see it. They're not like making the beer because tourists showed up. Jungle milk. I know. So we just had our first drone crash. I was trying to fly it up through the trees to give you like some perspective of how far out in the middle of nowhere that we are. It lost GPS positioning, which when it does that, it just like starts moving really funny. I was trying to bring it back down as quickly as I could and it just started drifting into a tree and there was nothing I could do to stop it. It, it seriously probably hit a tree over a hundred feet in the air and then just fell down and hit like 50 more trees on the way down to the fourth floor. I think it survived. We're not gonna try to turn it back on right now because uh, all of the wings are broken, but this is exactly what it looked like when we picked it up off the ground. Dirty, broken blades, but thankfully, everything else seems to be intact. So, I guess we'll see. Have to clean it up and put new blades on it, which thankfully we have. Kara's not too happy with me. She told me not to fly it. I thought it would be fine. As long as the drone doesn't break forever, I'm okay with it happening. I think it kind of needed to happen because Nate was being way too brave with that thing. Now we're hiking back to the first camp to have some lunch. Oh, it's so hot. They have been rolling these around on the grill like it's nothing, and I can barely touch it. It's so hot. We just want to put it, keep away from there. I'm not gonna say that uh, it comes from the jungle, but. Oh my god! Wow, those are huge! They're oh massive. wow! Yeah, they can bite you really well because they could dig into the palm. Palm tree, and that's we're also gonna grill. We're gonna make a shish kebab. So, for dinner last night, we left our camera in our cabin, but we had pizza, which sounds really normal and it was really delicious. But we had grub pizza, the same grubs as those big squishy things, but they were like really tiny. So, I was like, oh no, big deal. I had no idea they were that big when they were alive, but they weren't bad. What are you taking out of it? This is the gut. The gut. And the gut should be this, the dirt from the uh, palm. Mmm, delicious. Yep. The grubs are fresh off the fire. Wasias told us they go really well with the plantains. So. <laughs> Oh, do you eat the head? Oh, it has really crunchy. <laughs> oh gosh. My head is just crunchy. Doesn't have much taste. The body is really fatty. And it tastes like, like the fatty part of like pork. But easier to chew up than fatty meat. Now I can say I've eaten a palm grub straight out of the Amazon jungle. The do I have to eat the head? 
Yes. You know, we always eat the head. Ah, they always eat the head. Oh. You know, if you don't think about what you're eating, it's actually pretty good. I'm trying to think of what it tastes like. Seriously, I'm just pushing it out of my mouth what I'm eating right now. Okay, now I'm ready for it to be out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't taste bad at all. It's just like purely a texture and mental thing. Palm grubs are good. So funny. I'm not getting the rest of them. All right, two of these are for you. Okay. Thank you. So we just finished like a five hour hike through the Amazon jungle. Walking through the jungle is not easy. Like literally every single step you have to watch where you're stepping because your boot could either like sink way down in mud or you'd be stepping on a stick that you're gonna slip off of. It could be a giant bug, maybe a poisonous frog. It was like such an amazing morning, but such an exhausting morning at the same time. There's not a dry inch on my body. From the combination of humidity and sweat, I have managed to sweat through my pants. That's never happened before. <laughs> and now we are about to get on a boat to explore the flooded jungle. We hung out while they cooked us some delicious dinner. We're having beef and rice, and it is so good. I can't believe we're still just in the middle of the jungle having dinner with these local people. It's been awesome. We are riding through the flooded jungle. It is pitch black, and there are so many animal noises. This is the craziest thing ever. We're looking for the Cayman alligator. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. We saw the baby eyeball of one way back in the woods. I don't know if I want to see a full-sized one. <laughs> this is just so nice. Right up there. Oh wow! You How? see in the world that's sort of kinkajou. It's uh, like a um, a raccoon family. Whoa. Awesome. Is he past the grass? Yeah, he's in between the grass. But I'm pointing directly to him. And the tail is like right here. Right there. Like that. Cool. It's a, a baby one. How did you see that? I can, I can even catch or grab it by the neck. Really? Being that, that is small, so I won't hurt him and they won't hurt me. Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, that is small. small. He won't hurt me. You know, I won't hurt her because he won't do much, much movement. And then uh, just hold by the by the neck, not too tight, kind of loose, and that way I don't hurt him. The power is in the tail. Oh my gosh, that is so freaky. Mm -hmm. Look like I'm choking on him, but I'm not. Oh my gosh. Bottom, like that. The other hand as well, by the bottom. Your hand okay. from the bottom, like that. And then, uh, not too tight. If yeah. they move, don't okay. let them go. <laughs> Otherwise, hit in the boat. This is nuts. How's it feel, Nate? He's so cool. He seems to be pretty chill. His little teeth look like sharp little daggers, though. It's like skin is so hard, yeah, so tough. <laughs> oh, 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 God. First, put in the water. You hold hand, both hands. What if another alligator comes up and eats my hand? No, just lose, lose this. And that one not. Okay. Lose this one. Okay. And that one not. Still hold it, and just barely like. Okay. Release. Ready? One. <laughs> oh, he was fast. <laughs> Ready to get out of there. <laughs> that was awesome. There you go. Got my adrenaline going a little bit. <laughs> Thought I might lose a finger. <laughs> They're getting away. how jumpy our guide is after living in the Amazon his whole life. <laughs> We're heading back to the boat to drive back to... There's a bug in my shirt. Sorry. We are riding through... What is this? What? Uh, he doesn't want to... Oh Ooh. my gosh. <laughs> One of the coolest things though is touch the tip of his toes how sticky they are um okay just touch the tip and kind of pull okay oh oh yeah i felt it that time